at Chicago on the Southwest Airlines Shots on Goal Summary. As we move on to the Coca-Cola scoring summary, lone goal of the period belongs to Ronick on the power play. His eighth from Suter and Chelios. Let's pick up the action, Brian. With the pass near side of Monte. Far side beat Patrick Poulin. Here comes Chicago, three on three. Poulin to the outside on Tevardovsky. Taken to the backboards. We're going to get a penalty away from the puck as the Blackhawks leave it free in the near corner. Touched by Sean Van Allen. And it appears as though high sticking is going to be the infraction. And the mighty Ducks of Anaheim will be caught on the short end. Robert Dirk was trying. Goalkeeper Guy Bear can see those point shots coming in. Great job by Dallas in that last sequence. Dallas appearing in his power play has been so inept so far in this regular season, everybody takes liberties against the Mighty Ducks because they know they're not going to have to pay a price. Until the special teams really get clicking, they're going to continue to be in a very precarious position all season long. Dallas out of the corner, drops it off for Carmback, takes the return feed out of the near corner, but could not control the pass. Weinrich does near side. Four on four hockey for the second time in this hockey game. Expires, and the Mighty Ducks are on the power play, but Rutu controls the puck behind Guy Hebert. Patrick Karmbach swipes it away to Paul Correa. Back to Karmbach on the exchange. Tevardovsky deals to the red line. Now to the blue line. Steps inside. He's hooked down. Correa shoots just wide of the net. Side of the net. Tevardovsky tried to tuck it in. The Belfort covered. Here it comes. The one-time shot was blocked by Jeff Shantz. Shantz tries to break away from Tom Trevers. Cannot do it. Fans wanted an interference penalty. They won't get it. One minute, five seconds remain on the power play. Just inside the blue line. Now back out, here comes Brent Sutter, weaving around a jack. Line, slap shot, pull off the mark. Caroms to a wide open nickel. He tees one up in on goal and gloved about head high by Guy Bear. He looks for someone to exchange the puck with, but Chris Chelios was covering Paul Correa and Guy Bear elects to smother. Able to beat the Chicago defenders back to the puck anyway. It's not as much David Williams' fault as it is the fault of his forwards who are not on your screen, Randy Latissuri has a lot of influence in the locker room as well. It's interesting. You see the stats on a couple of players. Third game ever against Chicago. Second game ever for Latissuri. This is his fourth game ever against the Blackhawks. Played along the backboards. Tevardovsky doing battle there with Tony Horacek. Grimson tries to swat it outside the zone. Second effort by Robert Dirk to Ruchin. Cross eye speed to Todd Ewan. Hip check never materialized as Steve Smith sort of telegraphed that one as it's played to the base of the circle and Smith on the recovery quickly outlets to the left side. Tevardovsky swipes it away. Good follow-up dragged in over the line to the far wing by Daniel Gauthier. His pass well off the mark. Grimson has plenty of room to outlet. Straight ahead pass intended for Steve Ruchin. Intercepted at the Hawk defense. Do you think Steve Smith just recognized that it was Todd when he was going to hit and decided oh, maybe I'll to ever play in the National Hockey League, that's for sure. Long slap shot just off the mark. Blackhawks penalty assessed to Cam Russell. Two minutes for roughing. Fifth power play opportunity of the game as you see a shorthanded attempt again by Brent Sutter. Sailed just wide of the net. Sutter shovels it back to Smith. Near side and Chelios. Back out at center ice. Sutter will just shoot it in deep. Four-man penalty killer unit still on for Daryl Sutter. You really do see the disparities in the special teams in this hockey game. I mean, the Chicago Blackhawks, they get control of the puck on the power play, and they always seem to be in a position to score a goal. The Mighty Ducks, on the other hand, have so much difficulty getting possession of the puck in the Chicago zone. They very rarely get set up. Curvers, cross-ice pass, LeBeau, Korea on the follow-up, drop pass to Sweeney to the line, Curvers, wrist shot right on, save, side of the net, Chelios gives it up to Korea on the backboard. He looks for a help from LeBeau. Bernie Nichols drifts over to a loose puck on the far wing, tries to play it past Oleg Tevardovsky, cannot do it. Now Oleg will give it up to Steve Smith, and he'll clear it coast to coast. Front, touch pass to Ronick, drifts away from the blue line. Duck blows out a tire. Ewan gets back up. Feed to the far side. Brought in over the line. Drop pass to Roenick as he follows up out of the far corner. Roenick back of the net. Looks for the puck as he posts to the near corner. Feeds out front. And there's a body shot off the right shin guard of Oleg Tervidovsky. Along the backboards, Roenick. Feeds the middle. Nobody home left point. Suter will have to come back to get it. Gary Suter, former member of the... Calgary Flames, 1989 Stanley Cup championship team. Patrick Poulin on the near side. Shovel pass, far wing, Amati's there to read it. Ducks take over as they break out of their own zone with authority. Here comes Ruchin at the blue line. Catches the skate of Chelios, so he'll have to regroup at center ice. Ducks not able to get a 
Isaac can provide that to them. 2-0 Chicago. Sacco takes a seat. This is his fourth game back since that injury the Bryant spoke of as Robert Dirk deals to the far side. A good play by Sergei Kriber-Krasov to just chip it down low. He bumps with Dirk along the backboards. The Ducks try to break out of their own zone. Here comes Todd Krieger. Krieger wide. Slap shot gets deflected high in the air. And look up. Boy, that one had a better hang time than some of Kevin Butler's field goals. Quick stutter step around Stefan LeBeau. Deals to the blue line of Anaheim. And Oleg Tavernovsky gears up and has to come back for the loose puck. Korea can't control the pass. And here comes Tony Amani, two on two. Amani with chance up front. Jams on the brakes, feeds the middle. Good follow-up by a back-checking Todd Krieger to drive Sergei Krieger-Krasov off the pass. Here comes Krieger. Far side, Korea. Korea one-on-one -on -one against Suter. Has the step inside. Gets dragged down from behind and couldn't get off a quality chance. 18 shots on goal in the game for Chicago. Out of the corner, ball. Headman's the pass to Dulles. Dulles winds his slap shot. Caught the ankle of Cam Russell. That hurts as it's played back inside the line. And you see Russell trying to shake off the effects of that blast as he picks up the puck back of his own net. Minute 50 to go in the second period. Sergei Kriva Krasov, base of the circle, met by Robert Dirk. Dirk along the backboards trying to take two Blackhawks out with one swipe as it's swept out front of the Anaheim net and intercepted by Oleg Tverdovsky. Tverdovsky with Weinrich back as it poke checked away and a back checking Bernie Nichols gives it right back up to fellow veteran Stefan LeBeau. Minute 25 to go in the period. Along the backboard, Sean Van Allen mucking it up there along with Eric Weinrich. Four players rough sweater. It's Lottis Sir with the puck. His wrist shot is well off the mark. Karam played by Bernie Nichols to an open right point. David Williams takes the body. The puck squirts free to center ice. Tabardowski. Far side feed. Robert Dirk lofts the puck high in the air. Gloved and dropped to the guys quickly. Chelios to Brent Sutter. Good play by Robert Dirk as he slammed the boats down in time to stop that outlet pass. Pretty sizable boats, oh, too. Oh, boy, I'm telling you. <laughs> Two of my skates makes up one of his. Played inside the line. Tverdowski deals to the far wing boards. He goes down on a heap, but a fine play to get an outlet pass off to Patrick Carmback. Drop pass Korea. His slap shot is well off the mark and played free to the far side. Here it comes again right on by Tom Kervers. And Eddie Balfour was able to go down and block that. Curvers to Karnback. Far side, Korea. Near side feet, Korea to Sweeney. Never developed. Here's tie things up on the far side. Weinrich will cut back to get it. He's got Rutu open in the near corner. Drifts to the middle of the rink. Deals to the far side, Murphy. Near side feet, Rutu. He winds. Slap shot, club hand saved by Guy Bear as Rutu stepped up over the line and let loose. Strong pulls directing traffic on the perimeter. Nichols and Stefan LeBeau on the trigger. Here's a quick snap shot off the draw by Joe Murphy. Right on and a chest save by goaltender Guy Bear. LeBeau tries to outlet, catches Krieger in the back. Follow up to Nichols, deals right wing. Severodovsky just outside the line. Krieger overskates the puck. Blackhawks drift back to the loose disc out at center ice and here comes Murphy. He fakes as though he's going to shoot and shovels a wrist shot in on goal. Nichols, from a deep angle, gives it up to Rutu in the slot. Rutu in the deep slot area. Left point feed down low. Robert Dirk cuts over to the loose puck, tries to play it outside the line and does. Catches a body. You can wash out the icing call as Belfort will play the breaks. Follow up by David Williams. The Ducks will shoot it in deep. See how disciplined the Chicago Blackhawks are. They are protecting a two-goal lead right now, and they're doing a very good job. No outnumbered attacks for the Mighty Ducks. That's what Sutter will be preaching on the bench. Brimson and Ewan seeing their first shift of this third period. Dangerous cross-size pass. Smith to Rutu. Oleg Tverdovsky gives it up at the blue line of Chicago as Cam Russell will just backhand it outside the zone. We're going to get an offside whistle and a stoppage in play with 12-18 to go in the third period at center ice. Players chop at the loose puck, and Keith Carney takes over. Steps up to the red line with help on the left wing from Christian Rutu. They infiltrate the zone. Just outside the line, Joe Murphy says, hey, I kept it in, but no. Stickle exchanging words on the far wing. Let's see what happens here, Brian. Well, the puck's going to go up to the line. Watch Todd Ewan. He's got a bead on Keith Carney right now. Now, this is Leon Stickle. Right here on the boards, 
players are going to mill about in front of them, and Leon's looking this way, making the call. That puck does not go out and over the line, no question about it. Bad call by the linesman Stickle. Does not go out and over the line, no question about it. Bad call by the linesman Stickle. At the blue line, Krieger. Far side feed, Robert Dirk. Headman's the puck up the left wing, intercepted at the line by Eric Weinrich. Hawks take over, near side, Rutu. Rutu will give it up to Bernie Nichols down low. He's driven off the puck by Robert Dirk, and posting up back of his own net is Sean Van Allen. He'll outlead to Oleg Tverdovsky. At the blue line, Tverdovsky tries to go inside on Steve Smith. Puck is poke checked away. Tverdovsky again on the backhand, as it's swept away to the right wing board. Played outside the line, Christian Rutu to Robert Dirk. We'll keep an eye on the clock for you. 11.32 to go in this hockey game. 2-0 Chicago. Cox Patrick Poulin takes over and shoots it right back out to center ice and Oleg Tverdovsky. Tries to stutter step around Eric Weinrich. He's dropped to the guys. Look at that nifty move in traffic by Joe Murphy. As quick as the black pass, Connor punch with Murphy top of the circle. He'll give it up to Tverdovsky, but it may look easy, but indeed it isn't if you've tried it. Murphy with terrific stick handling work inside the blue line of Chicago. I was trying that move my whole career. Never got it right once. Is that why you became a goaltender? That's why I became a cuddler, color analyst, actually. <laughs> <laughs> On the far side, near wing feed, grew two quickly ahead to Murphy. Tries to sidestep Patrick Carmack, kicks it ahead to Korea. And Eddie Belfour is making his bid for his fourth shutout this regular season. Keep in mind, all time, he has shut out the Mighty Ducks three times in six games. So Eddie Belfour will have one eye on the clock as this game continues. Look at Tverdovsky step up, but his left wing pass was overlined intended for Balk. On the backboards, players crash there, go down to the heap. And Tony Horacek takes a bump from behind from Sacco. Chicago works the puck through the neutral zone as Kearney gets stepped into its center right. And Horacek follows up in offsides his pass to Danielle Gauthier. Big Tony Horacek getting an opportunity for the Hawks. Oleg Tverdowski shaking his head behind him. Bobby Corkum, very inspirational leader on this hockey team, yet to really get on track offensively this season. Suter will off the puck high in the air, chopped back inside the blue line of Anaheim, and Guy Bear will exchange with Oleg Tverdowski. Four minutes, ten seconds to go in the game. Oleg, nice stutter step around Sham. At the line, poke checked away. Volk trying to infiltrate the zone, could not do it. And Chelios will just play it back to the blue line of Anaheim. The Hawks are lined up four across the line. The Ducks have to dump that puck in. There's no way they're going to penetrate the line carrying it in. Top of the circle. Joe Sacco goes down in the heap. Sergei Kriever crashes off, avoids the check of the oncoming Joe Sacco, and he lofts it high in the air. Ducks having to work for every square inch of ice they pick up from here on out as the Blackhawks are content to just steer it inside the zone. Dirk out of the corner. Backhand feed, Sacco on the right wing. Chop pass up ice, met at center ice by Keith Carney. He'll just flip it back in, end over end, 3.20 to go. And believe with Patrick Poulin. Poulin drifts to the blue line of Anaheim. One on three, he's on the short end. As he battles with Bobby Dulles out front, Severodowski lays it up ice, intended for Sean Van Allen. Belfour will leave it for Steve Smith inside two minutes to go in this hockey game. Ron Wilson had the Van Allen line out on the ice, primarily because that line has accounted for 60% of the goals in the last six games. Here comes Amani all alone, and what a save by Guy Bear as he tried to go top shelf on Guy, and he was able to flick that blocker out. Here comes Patrick Poulin, back of the net. Poulin still looking for help. Cycling to the puck, Jeremy Roenick is written off the play as Todd Krieger takes over and shovels the pass to Tim Sweeney. Sweeney hooked from behind by Roenick. Follow-up come back. He's tripped up at the line. Blackhawks take over at center ice, and Bernie Nichols will just shoot it in deep. Minute 15 seconds to go in the hockey game. Chicago 2, Anaheim nothing. Cross-ice pass, Korea. Met by Chelios. At center ice, Chelios on the recovery. Gives it up at the line to Tom Kervers, and Kervers will play it ahead to Bernie Nichols. ...gave up a couple of goals, and the power play was unable to generate anything as a result. The Chicago Blackhawks cruise to a 3-0 victory. Chicago outshoots Anaheim 32 to center. There you see your final score, 3-0. Brian and I will be back with some final comments after this.